Gustav Skarsgård, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Not bad, John Foss, CW Twin Cities, and I'm talking to the man who plays Floki in Vikings Season 5 is now upon us. Also, you're going to be in Westworld. What are we going to see in Season 5 of Vikings? Uh, well, what we can expect from Floki this year is uh, kind of a spiritual transformation. He, he, here's a man who's lost everything, his wife, his child, his best friend. And, and so he's pretty much at the end of the line here. And, and where we pick him up, he, he builds this one-man boat and just sails off into the horizon and, uh, and submits himself to the will of the gods. Uh, so where that will take him, that's what we will find out this season. So that's from uh, on Floki's part, that's what we can expect. And then uh, in large, uh, one of the main you know, themes of this season is who will rise in the void of Ragnar mm -hmm. having, having died, uh, which one of his sons will, will, will rise to the challenge and, and, and become the new leader or his ex-wife, uh, Lagertha. So there will definitely be a huge power struggle over that. Also introducing a new character in, in Bishop Heckman, played by Jonathan Rhys Myers. Excited to have him, a great actor on the show. Um, so he's playing this warrior bishop who will also get tied up in all this conflict and calamity. Well, one thing that would totally make my day is if we could hear the Floki laugh. You want it, you want it right now? I want it, let's bring it. Okay, uh, I just gotta, <laughs> I just gotta, you know, yeah. Get into character? Yeah, it, cause it's been so long, you know, like. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so, so it's, <laughs> yeah, something like that, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's so love funny, it, love yeah, it. that's, that's funny. Here's another question for you. So I was actually on a History Channel show called The Holy Grail in America, where I played a Norwegian guy myself. Oh, so cool. I don't want to say that I kind of got the whole ball rolling on the Vikings thing before it happened, but <laughs> you're welcome. Thank uh, you. Some of the costume we ha costumes we had to wear were just insanely heavy, and it got tiring. And your costumes are even more so. What's that like wearing wearing those costumes on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it's heavy, and, and we're shooting in, in Ireland as well, so it rains, you know, 99.9% mm -hmm. .9 of the time. So, so all these furs and leather and, and, and wool gets, also gets completely saturated by rainwater, so that adds another extra 50 pounds to, your, to the weight. Um, no, it's, it's, it's definitely a tough, physically challenging sh show to shoot, uh, but that's also what's awesome about it. You really have to just throw yourself in there and, and just run with it, you know? Floki is Norwegian, right? He is what would be Norwegian today, yeah. Okay, and you are actually Swedish? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so I talked to Tovlo, the singer, last year. Uh, are you familiar with her? No, don't know her. Okay, anyway, she told me that there's a rivalry between Norway, I'm actually Norwegian, and Sweden. And uh, here's her quote on Norwegians. I was very offended. She said that we are prude and stupid. You can see oh, it on wow. both sides here. So, what do you what do you have to say about uh, that? Nah, I don't. I don't agree. <laughs> you know. Okay, you're gonna, you're standing up for the Norwegians here. You're nah, saying no. Nah, I'm just standing up for for for, for humans in general. I All don't right. care that All much right. about uh, nationality. And us, us Scandinavians, we have to stick together too. You know. Yeah, and yeah, and Europeans and and members of the planet and all. You know. To to get into character on the set, do you guys? have Ludafisk for uh, craft service? Uh, we don't, we don't, luckily. Okay. Uh, but having said that, though, the, cra the, craft, the, craft, the craft service is, is, is quite basic. It's literally uh, two jugs of hot water and instant coffee. That's craft, service on, that's craft service on Vikings. And there's also tea bags in drawers that are not, you know, they're just lying there, you know, bare tea bags. Yeah, so that's you guys that's are breaking ratings records here, and that's all you get for craft service. That is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm so, make so, so so some loot fisk would actually uh, help us out. Be an improvement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing right now, the people at home can see this. You can't. Is I'm taking off my shirt oh, to wow. reveal what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing underneath. Okay. What's it that? It is, and I'm talking about the real Vikings right now. Uh -huh. Of course, the Minnesota Vikings. I'm wearing a Brett Favre jersey. The Vikings are having a great season. Are cool. you a Vikings fan? Uh, I'm, I, you know, I don't really know that much about that sport, but but okay. I did have a hoodie as a teenager. I can tell you that a, 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 pur a, pur like a purple, purple or what? A purple hoodie, you know, starter, 
you know, mm -hmm. uh, with a Viking logo on it. So, so yeah, that's as, as close as I get. But and also, you know, okay. Minnesota well, being like Swedish, there's that connection, of course. Exactly. So when you're channeling your inner Viking and you're going out there, what's your advice as far as like when you meet maybe an eagle or a falcon or even worse, a Green Bay Packer, what would be your advice to the Minnesota Vikings? They're having an excellent season. How do they finish and take out all the competition? <laughs> I don't know. You just gotta you gotta you just gotta tap into that old pagan roar, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know you're a very spiritual guy, Floki is. Yeah. He has a, he has that direct channel to the gods. Maybe you can sure. make some help us out here. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll I'll make a few calls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Yusuf. Thank you for being with us. And nice. make sure you watch Vikings Wednesday nights on the History Channel. Thanks. Thanks.